Mark, can you hear me? We hear you now. We are at the VIP section, uh, the waiting room at the KICC. As candidates here line up and uh, wait for their chance to head before and, and face the IBC uh, panelists or the commissioners. Right now, I'm joined by John Yaga, an independent candidate who came here yesterday and had some issues, but uh, now he's uh, going to finalize uh, the process of uh, seeking nomination. Now, John Yaga, tell us uh, how things have been. How is it now? I'm now ready. As you recall, I came here yesterday with a banker's check of 250,000 shillings instead of 200,000. Thank God it was Sunday, the first day. So I had the opportunity to come on the second day. We are ready with the appropriate banker's check. There was also issue to do with my running mate, Moses Marango from Bungoma. There's a document that needed to be signed, you know, commissioned by Commission of Oaths. By the time we got it, which we did yesterday, it was time to leave the room. So we are ready and all set to go. So we can start our campaigns. Uh, so this is the second coming of John Yaga, and he has come with uh, Moses. Moses, what was the document, and have you sorted it out? That document was a code of conduct, the IEBC code of conduct, and yes, we have sorted it out. Uh, so we've been told, uh, we've just had an IBC official talking about, uh, talking to other aspirants, telling them to allow you to head back there because you have uh, uh, relatively smaller issues to attend to. How is it? Yes, that is true. I'll be the first one now to go in. I've had a good colleagues and friends here waiting. And it's because mine will take only a few minutes. Since all the other things are being held by IABC, the fire is ready. They are only waiting for those two documents. So simply hand over, then leave the room so that the others can take their, their positions. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. We will allow you to head back there. Uh, my colleague is there, will be covering you. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, now, as uh, we walk uh, around the waiting room, uh, we come face to face with uh, Cyrus Girongo, another aspirant uh, coming with the United Democratic Party. Uh, Girongo, tell us what is your motivation for vying this year? Uh, many reasons. Uh, one uh, is that uh, we actually need to give this country back to its owners, the Kenyan people. We need uh, every single Kenyan to participate in the development of his country. We need inclusivity. We need to ensure that uh, Kenyans feel they own their country. Actually, the most important resource this country has is its people. And uh, its people at the moment, uh, there are many issues that are affecting them. And uh, the many friends we have worked with have not found anybody who convincingly has addressed the issue of sincerely handing back this country to its owners, who are the Kenyan people. That is the motivation. Okay. Uh, you've been around political uh, circles for a very long time. Now, what uh, people will ask, are you recycling yourself or what are you bringing that is new to the table? I have never been, uh, first of all, I've just been a minister for a year. Uh, yes, I've participated in politics for long, but mainly opposition politics. Uh, I was the only opposition member when people had in Usumukate. I've uh, been in the opposition all through up to now. Uh, so I've not had an opportunity uh, to offer anything for anybody to say we want to recycle. Uh, we have clear mind. We know exactly uh, what ails this country, and we're prepared to take the challenge. That is the motivation. Uh, two of the biggest uh, opinion makers in the lawyer community, uh, Moses Wetangula and um, Salia Mudavadi, are in NASA. Are you betraying the lawyer consciousness? Uh, lawyer consciousness, uh, I have not understood exactly what you're saying. I don't know which lawyer is on uh, the ballot that uh, I would be uh, uh, maybe fighting with. Uh, but uh, we are not talking about the Lear Nation. Uh, Lear Nation is part of a bigger country called Kenya, 43 communities. And I think constitutionally, uh, every Kenyan that qualifies as an opportunity and has a right to uh, seek leadership of this country. And uh, for them to choose to go to NASA, that is their choice. And uh, they are free to do so. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, I was with them in NASA, but there are a few issues that I could not agree with, and I left them alone uh, because I think I pursue my conscience much more than I would uh, pursue perception or to look like I'm with uh, other people. I'm a, I'm a person of my own. I stand my ground. When something is wrong, it's wrong. 
have gone through a long period uh, of trying to negotiate with them to try and come up with a balanced uh, 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 republic called Kenya, but uh, we failed to agree, and therefore I had no otherwise but to pursue that which my heart uh, desires and that which I know would be good for this country. A Kenyan politics uh, comes with something akin to hard mentality or clout. Do you have the numbers? Uh, give me 30 days and then ask me that, day, uh, that, that question. I don't think it will be part of what you'll be asking me. The numbers we do have, yes. Uh, that is Mr. Cyrus Jirongo, a presidential aspirant coming to the IEBC to seek uh, clearance to vie as a presidential candidate on a UDP uh, ticket. Uh, right now, the uh, waiting room is still packed. Um, Joe Nyaga has just walked to, to, towards uh, the area where we'll be seeing uh, IEBC commissioners clearing or not clearing candidates who are seeking to have a uh, clearance or uh, go ahead to uh, vie as presidents. But remember, today also we are expecting President Uhuru Kenyatta, who will be here in the afternoon to present his nomination papers. So it is um, an action-packed day, a wait-and-see situation.